Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com and this is what we're gonna do today. All right, sweet, so let's go into Serum, Menu, Initialize Preset, Oscillator A, we're gonna grab a Spectral Reese Mess 5, bring down the mix all the way, and we're gonna use this as FM from A on our B oscillator. So oscillator B, we're gonna pick an analog BD sign, and in the warp, we're gonna pick a FM from A, and check this out. So about over here is fine. And then let's grab a filter. We're gonna pick a miscellaneous band reject and turn on the B, increase the resonance and bring down the cutoff to about, actually bring it down all the way and increase the width to 25%. And now we're gonna modulate the level of oscillator B and the cutoff with our LFO one. So place the LFO one on the level, bring the level down all the way and increase the modulation value all the way place it on the cutoff and bring the value down to like halfway. So here's what we have now. Okay, and now in the LFO one, let's click on trig. So it starts from the beginning and then drag this middle point to about here and click and drag this point up. So fast and smooth attack and then bring this down a little bit. and also bring the rate down to one over two. All right, so let's go in our effects tab, grab a hyper dimension. We're gonna increase the mix and increase the detune to about two o'clock and then bring up the dimension mix to about 10 o'clock and then bring the size down all the way. All right, and then let's grab a compressor and you don't have to bring this up, I just did that and then turn on the multiband and increase the gain a bit. And you can see that our bass is getting nicely compressed. So increase the master volume. All right, so let's grab a reverb and bring down the spin depth, spin, decay, and the size all the way. Increase the high cut. And actually, let's increase the size by 10% and check it out. And then the mix to 30%. Okay, so now we have to modulate the overall global tuning. So let's go into matrix tab and grab an LFO one in our source. And in the destination, we're gonna grab a global master tuning. And now the master tuning will be controlled by the LFO if we click and drag this slider. So let's increase that to 19 units and check it out. So yeah, 19 units is perfect. Now the character of your sound depends on your width, cutoff and FM from A. So these values are very important. So keep messing with them. All right, so now we can start placing our macros. So the first macro can go on the WT position of oscillator A. The second macro can go on the width of your filter and bring it down to about here. And maybe just a little bit. And then the third macro, we can place it on the cutoff and bring that down. Just use a very, very little bit and check it out. And maybe bring down the modulation value on the width. And then the third macro. And you could even play a much higher note on your keyboard. So... Wow. 
I don't like the mid range that much, so I either like. Like that, or. Or like that. Um, and let's place the fourth macro on our rate. So check it out. And maybe bring this down and increase your rate. And maybe even put that on the WT position. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and definitely stay tuned for more. Until next week, peace!